I took the initiative to start this uh, series of Indian Constitution. I have already informed you what will be the my sources uh, to teach this particular session of Indian Constitution of very important part of Indian polity. So let's start the first lecture of Indian polity. That's the evolution of Indian Constitution. How everything has started in India. First thing, in 13th century, as we have discussed in modern history also, in 13th century, a cultural movement. Uh, has started as begin that is called as the renaissance renaissance that, that was a cultural movement that has started in whole europe so whole europe was under coverage of such kind of movement that are uh, that was called as the renaissance so after such kind of movement uh, uh, movement like whole european uh, traders or whatsoever the sailors would like to explore more and more land area across the world and would like to have a good relations uh, maybe it, uh, a trade relation or would like to definitely uh, transform their important message or important uh, fortunate that uh, to transfer humongous amount of continent into the Christianity. Anyhow, uh, uh, what we have discussed uh, the, that was there in the modern history, but let's see what happened after that. European sailors began to explore trade relations with n number of areas. So they come to this part of the world, that's the eastern part. So uh, a few Euro uh, Europeans have Portuguese and Spanish. Portuguese reached to India. Apart from that, Portuguese, there are a uh, number of other Western Europeans, they also reached to India. So, after uh, Portuguese, first person who reached to India, he was Bosco de Gama. He came to India in 1498. So, that is not very important. That now, nowadays, this, such questions have been asked in exam. They may be asked what, what the reason why he came to India. So, the very particular answer in hunting of spices. So, very, uh, so we are very sure about the, uh, such thing that earlier also the spices has been traded from India, not from the sea route, but from the land route, uh, from the this area, from this area of Middle East, or we can say from area of uh, Persia, then Egypt, then to Europe. But later on, they discovered uh, the this uh, area of the, uh, this passage of sea, and they started uh, trading with India uh, from this uh, sea route. After uh, uh, these. Portuguese traders, other traders came to India, they were uh, Dutch people, French people and Britishers. But due to certain reasons only uh, Britishers remained in India for a very longer period of time. So later Britishers remained in India and a body and they incorporated a body, they created a body that uh, named as a court of director or court of proprietor. So in some of the examination, uh, maybe examiner may ask you what is the meaning of court of proprietor. So court of proprietor, court of director, both are the same. See court of director, or court of proprietor simply meaning is that under the council of uh, this uh, British East India crown uh, uh, that was under the Queen Elizabeth at that time. So under the crownship of Queen Elizabeth, under the supervision of her, they have created a body of a private player. The, the body of that, those private players named as the court of director. So nothing as such in the rocket science into this thing. So it is simply a private player body. Those were there in India for uh, trade and commercial purpose. And they created a company named as the British East India Company. And that company was created in India in 1600 century. And later in 1600, they, they got the permission. And in 1600, they imposed their first factory in Surat. That we have discussed in our, in our modern history uh, part earlier also. And later on, uh, say after 100 years, they uh, incorporate uh, whole uh, small small sub submerged companies in a single united company and the name of that company they have created that was the united company of merchants of england trading to east indies so this part of the world is called east indies so they later on in 1708 they changed this company the name of this company has, has been changed to this company the and the new company they have formed that was the united company of merchant of england trading to east indies so they have created this uh, new name of this company. So earlier they have started in business in India as under the uh, crown banner of East India Company of uh, Britain or England. Later in the course of time, what happened? In the course of time, the private players were earning quite well. So those who were there in India, uh, uh, those were the private players. They, there, is, there is a very little intervention uh, from the government side. So most of the players they are earning in India from this company that was uh, British East India Company. The, those were the private players and they were earning quite well in India. So uh, here is the problem. They were earning quite well in India, but when the government uh, was asking tax from them, so they were uh, denying that we don't have a uh, good amount of money. So they are anyhow uh, doing a kind of tax evading thing. So they are not uh, giving taxes to the government on the regular basis. And this has created a kind of jealousy in the mind of uh, parliamentaries, those who are sitting there in House of Lords or House of Commons in uh, uh, England. 
so they have created uh, something uh, which was very prominent in india and later on this thing actually put a series of uh, n number of acts in india so what actually happened at that time in the course of time the private trades were earning quite well but uh, quite well but act of taxes and but uh, there uh, we have seen the act of tax evasions they start uh, stealing the taxes so whatever the tax has been asked by the government they always uh, uh, like uh, whenever government asks the tax they raise their hand they they always uh, uh, said to the government we don't have anything in our pocket but on the other course of hand they are like uh, making good property making good piece of land and creating uh, huge buildings for themselves but they are not giving the, something to the government so this arose the jealousy of the british parliamentaries in london and in order to in order to satisfy their zeal in order to satisfy their uh, jealous what britain have done what the government have done they intervened very properly to the private players and in order to create in order to regulate the affairs of the company of the company that company was the private company under the uh, banner of crow, uh, court of directors but the head of these company uh, about the head of uh, uh, the company that was uh, east india company so in order to regulate the affair of the company those were the private pair in 1773 first time they enacted the regulating act 1773 so whenever uh, somebody have asked you what is the meaning of regulating act so you would definitely uh, come to understand this thing the meaning regulation regulation means to put imposition to uh, do some uh, uh, like limit something to ban something okay to make a rule on some uh, on something it is called regulation so or to whom they have created these kind of rules to the private players they have created rules on the private player of the uh, england only not to the uh, uh, indians who are indians are there in india that is not actually meant directly for the indians that was for the britishers those were the british player in india they were trading in india on the, under the british crown so thus uh, rules this regulation rule has been created for them in 1773 later on there the n number of imposition has been created under this rule we will see in next video lecture so in this lecture you just uh, got to understand that initially in 13th century the process of renaissance have started then after that many europeans came like uh, went to n number of uh, island n number of countries and uh, in order to search everything or the piece of land in or the trading partnership the vasco da gama starts the uh, uh, route via sea and he came to india in 1498 and later i started a trade relation but he uh, but uh, uh, after that he was followed by dutch french and and danish denmarkish peoples but he never uh, remained in india for very longer period of time so who remained in india very longer period of time those were the britishers and they earned a good amount of money but initially uh, they uh, the like initially there was uh, there was only one company that is east india company uh, of uh, england and after that there were n number of companies has been created in india and after 100 years they incorporated they amalgamated they incorporated whole company in a single banner the name of that company they have, uh, they created that the united company of merchant of england trading to east indies and uh, later they started earning a, a quite well amount of money so when whenever the government asked them the tax so they always uh, start giving a number of excuses so that's uh, arose a kind of jealous in the mind of government uh, parliamentaries over there in london so they have created a kind of act that act was a regulating act in order to regulate those britishers are there in india as a private pair in order to sustain their limit earning so they have created such act so what uh, what is there in this act we will discuss in the next video lecture thank you so much if you have any doubt do ask Thank you.